Here's how to make oversized pom-pom letters to hang on your wall. First, you're gonna start with foam core cardboard, or I actually used this plastic board from Michaels that also has the corrugated core. You can use an X-Acto knife to cut out your letters after tracing them with a pencil to make them even. Then I used tacky glue and a foam paintbrush to spread the glue all over every surface. Don't miss even a centimeter or you'll have to go back and add more glue so the pom-poms will stick. So my first thought when I did this was that I was going to use hot glue, but then I would have had to put glue on every single pom-pom. It would have taken forever and ever. So this method gives you more time to work and goes a lot faster. Then you want to start with your largest pom-pom in your variety pack and put those spread out evenly and then kind of fill in around them starting with medium and then working your way to small pom-poms. There's no real wrong way to do it, you just don't really want there to be gaps, so be prepared to go back and fill in any holes with small ones. My pom-poms were actually three different variety packs from Michaels that I mixed together just to have a lot of different colors for my two-year-old's colorful jungle animal themed room. I love how these turned out. They're perfect for a kid's bedroom, a playroom. I think they'd be fun for party decor too. So there's lots of possibilities. Let me know if you're making some of your own. Can't wait to see.